My name is Dr. Shayla Shorter. As a scientist and as a person living with lupus, I am passionate about all things related to how the immune system works. The current COVID-19 pandemic has brought a lot of questions to the forefront. What causes COVID-19? Why are some people getting severely ill but others aren't? And why is lupus getting dragged into this? In this four-part series, we will take a look into how scientists answer these types of questions. So pull up a seat and enjoy the class. In the last episode, we talked about two scenarios when the immune system does more harm than good. An overactive immune response is a characteristic of both lupus and severe cases of COVID-19. The question being asked now is, can the same strategy that has worked for autoimmune diseases work for COVID-19? Let's start with the learning objectives for episode three. These are questions that I'd like for you to keep in mind during the course of this presentation. See if you can answer them by the end of the class. When thinking about how to treat COVID-19 patients, that have severe complications. Clinicians and scientists think about targeting two things, the virus and the immune system that causes a lot of damage. Today, we'll be talking about drugs that are commonly used to treat autoimmune conditions that are currently being used to see if they can work in treating severe COVID-19 patients. Now, these are broken down into different classes or groups of drugs. So the classes of drugs include antimalarials, corticosteroids or steroids, and biologics. We will be talking about examples of drugs in each of those three categories. Let's start with the antimalarials class of which hydroxychloroquine, also known by its brand name Plaquenil, is a part. You may have heard of hydroxychloroquine already. It gained a lot of attention early in the pandemic as a potential treatment that could be used to treat severe COVID-19. Before the pandemic, hydroxychloroquine was and continues to be a very important drug for lupus patients and patients with rheumatoid arthritis. It works in a number of different ways, but mainly it works to block early pathways that are important for activation of immune cells. Interestingly, in lab studies, it was also found to prevent viruses from infecting cells. The question is, does it work for COVID-19 patients? Well, like I said, early observational studies showed that it might be really promising, but data that's coming out now from additional studies suggests that it's not as effective as once originally thought. So, studies to see if hydroxychloroquine is an effective treatment for severe COVID-19 is still ongoing. Let's look at corticosteroids. An example of a corticosteroid is prednisone. Prednisone is a drug used by patients with lupus and a wide variety of autoimmune diseases and other cases where inflammation needs to be suppressed. It works by blocking the expression of genes inside the cell that usually leads to production of inflammatory signals like cytokines. Does it work for COVID-19 patients? Well, like other drugs, it was initially thought to be an effective treatment. However, studies are showing that in some cases, steroids can actually make the infection worse because it blocks the ability of the person's immune system to help in defeating the virus. So, like the drug before, studies are ongoing. Lastly, 
let's talk about biologics. An example of a biologic is tocilizumab, or also known as its brand name, Actemera. Now, biologics are a different type of drug because it's not synthesized in a lab, but rather it comes from a living organism. So tocilizumab or Actemera is actually an antibody that's used as a drug. Now, it's been tested in lupus, but tocilizumab is actually more often used in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. It works by blocking the action of interleukin-6, a cytokine that's involved in promoting a cytokine storm. We learned in previous classes that cytokine storms cause a lot of damage in COVID-19 patients. Of course, the million dollar question again is, does it work for COVID-19 patients? Well, early results suggest that it may have some positive effects, but studies are ongoing. Let's quickly go back to those learning objectives to see if you can answer the questions. What are two treatment targets for treating COVID-19 patients? The virus and the immune system. What are three drugs or three classes of drugs used to treat autoimmune diseases? Antimalarials, corticosteroids, and biologics. What autoimmune disease drug can also prevent the infection of cells by a virus? That's right, hydroxychloroquine, also known as Plaquenil. Lastly, what cytokine does tocilizumab or Actemra block? That's right, interleukin-6 or IL-6. Now, Studies to find effective treatments are ongoing is a common refrain heard by patients with lupus. In fact, those of us living with a complex illness like lupus know more than most the feelings of uncertainty and frustration that comes along with waiting for an effective therapy to be developed for our condition. Despite these challenges, people with lupus have learned to remain committed to staying informed and remaining hopeful that scientists and clinicians will find new answers. So in the next class, we'll talk more about why finding effective therapies for complex illnesses like lupus and COVID-19 are so challenging but also how you can take a page out of a notebook from lupus patients and learn that there is hope and that ongoing research will lead to breakthroughs.